Asian Power recently caught up with Clay Scheibe and Greg Wopagian of Alstom at the HVDC press trip in Birmingham, England to talk about the HVDC technology and plans for the Asian market. There's a lot of potential in Asia. Well, we have some big load centers, and you have the generation far away. So, especially on the hydro side, you have a lot of potential in many areas. Uh, hydro is typically far away from where you have the load centers, where you have the population. So, there is a lot of potential. Um, but I think it's also what I mentioned yesterday in my presentation that HVDC has been the old technology and it's not really been used frequently anywhere. So people haven't thought about it as an alternative. Today is changing. Today people start to be aware of it. Uh, every planning department in all the big utilities and even the small ones, they do include it in their calculations. So I think this will generate more projects. And again, there's a lot of potential in Asia in many of these countries. We also have the, the need to interlink more of the, the various islands. You have a lot of water in, in many of the regions. And there is the solution is, is easy. So it is coming. I'm, I'm quite sure it's coming. I think a lot will change. Uh, what we saw yesterday from one of the, I think it was the last picture where we, we talked about the overlaying network and then we said this, the solar panels and so on. I think this is coming. A uh, matter of time. It could take a lot of time before we're there because it's very heavy investments. But I think the the whole network will look different if that's probably not five years from now, but if it's ten or fifteen years, it will look different and it will give new opportunities. Uh, I think it will give a much better chance for renewables to seriously be integrated in the system. Today it's difficult. We see, especially in Europe, there's a lot of talks. It's quite complicated to integrate renewable in a good way in the network, and it's very expensive. So by time, I think it will become much more natural that you can put in the low end, the small scale, and you can put in the high end and you have a system that balances this in a good way. Electric the system developed as it is, you know, it took more than 100 years. So it will, it will not be revolutionary for a day that we see a new system. It, it takes time. But there is a need, there is clearly a need. Alstom has um, this power generation, transport and, uh, and electricity, electrical grids. Uh, I know, for example, that there's uh, some uh, very visible projects in the Philippines on the, on the transport side. So whenever there's a market and we're lucky enough to be selected, we try to base the talent locally and to develop people locally and as often as possible to uh, base manufacturing locally. So uh, I think you'll see more of that in Asia going forward as we've had in Indonesia. We're bringing as much of the know-how and basing it locally because there's a market and that'll happen in other places too.